Hi, we are making Filipino Imbonito. Um, okay, we're starting off with a couple of carrots. We put them all in the vitamizer. We want it nice and fine. Nice and fine. Now I've got half a capsicum coarsely chopped and I'll put the other half in the vitamizer just for a bit of texture. I'll also put in an onion, half an onion. and we'll put it in the food processor. Okay, we'll add that to the mix. And also, I have here five slices of bread. Um, I've put this in the uh, food processor. This is fresh bread, fresh white bread. Um, I'll come back to you in a minute. Um, I've got some beef mince here. Um, it is about about one kilo's worth. I had um, I had one point three, and I've cut some off. I don't want to make a real big one. So that's just um, premium beef, beef, beef mince. Beautiful beef mince. Beautiful. Put all that into there. Um, we'll put half a cup tomato sauce. That's um, yeah. Master Food tomato sauce. Half a cup of that. I've got some homemade um, zucchini pickles. Really beautiful. If you haven't got homemade zucchini pickles, just use your um, pickles, like mustard pickles from um, your supermarket. So I'm going to put in another half a cup of that. That's one. That's half a cup. That's one half a cup of um, tomato sauce. One half cup of zucchini. We'll add that to the mix. And also some raisins. How many raisins do you want to put in there? Huh? Half a cup of That much. And we're going to put in, say, a quarter of a cup to half a cup of raisins. Just there. That's sultanas. Is that enough, hun? And we'll. And cheese. Do we put cheese in now or later? Yeah. And we'll put um, we're gonna put half a cup of cheese. Uh, 
that will be all. I'll mix it all up and I'll show you how we'll prepare it. Thank you. We've added two eggs to bind to bind the ingredients. I um well we'll add the mixture. Sorry about using my hands, but it seems to be the best way. We'll add the mixture to the bottom of the container. We'll just um line the bottom of the container, the mixture, and then do another layer. So we'll add the eggs. In the middle. And some of these hot dogs. I'll just dogs. cut them in half. Let's put a little bit more mixture. A little bit more mixture. Put another couple of hot dogs. Just so when you cut it, you got a really nice pattern. Looks really, really good. It's gonna really taste really nice. It's a famous Filipino dish. How do you say it, honey? Empanado. 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 <laughs> no worries. That's how you do it. And next you'll see it will be cooked, sliced, and eaten. Uh, this is the empanado. Um, it's all done. We've put it in the fridge. It's set, as you can see. It was a bit hard when we pulled it out to cut up, but the proper way to do it is put it in the fridge and let it set. And now it's set, I am going to cut and show you how beautiful and wonderful this dish is. It's a beautiful Filipino dish. It's um, amazing. It's amazing. If I could just pick it up without breaking it and show you the imbedito. What a beautiful slice, all the sausages, the egg, and I'll just try a little piece and see how it is. Mmm. It's creamy from the bread, the meat, the flavour of the sausage, the egg. It's all there. It is a real amazing dish.